everyone welcome back to the nerdy collector and today i'm doing another top 10 video of the top 10 game of thrones pops that funko must make now these are my opinion and these are the, my opinion of the the top 10 game of thrones pops that we need characters that i think are deserving of pops and i'm actually surprised that some of these on this list don't have uh, pops by now. The Game of Thrones um, selection uh, is massive. I mean, there's a huge amount of Game of Thrones characters. I don't have them all, but I have a fair few. And um, I think these are some that are definitely missing from this. I've got my uh, Ravenclaw notebook with them written down in. So if you see me looking down at all, it's just reading the names. So um, I'm going to have a look now and um, see where we start at number 10. Right, so coming in at number 10, we have Gilly. Now, Gilly isn't one of the main characters in this show, but she is a big character in the sort of arc of Sam, with obviously Baby Sam, Sam and Gilly. And I think she is deserving of a pop. She's a good actress, and she's been in the show for many seasons now. And like I said, it'd be good to have a Gilly pop displayed next to Sam. Yes, yeah, so I'd like them definitely to make that character. I mean, um, I'm sure lots of people would buy Gilly, and I'm sure in the end it would be quite a rare pop to come across, because... It, it seems like Yigrid was one of those pops that sort of was really rare in the end. So maybe Gilly would end up like that as well. But I definitely think that Gilly is one that they definitely need to bring out. Just so we can complete the collection of sort of the, the main characters and the sub-main characters. She's got a big part in, like I said, the arc with Sam. So it would be nice to have a pop of her to display next to our pops of Sam Tarly. Coming in at number nine is Beric Dondarrion. Now this is a really good character, someone I really like, and one of my favorite episodes of the last season was where they were trapped in that big, the middle with all the white walkers around them, all these sort of zombies around them sort of, and they were standing on that ice thing, and he was one of the characters there. He's a guy that wears the eye patch. Images of these guys will appear on the screen, and, and maybe some video clips as well of all these characters. And he, he'd be such a cool pop, because I mean, he's such a mysterious and cool character, and the Lord of Light, obviously brings him back to life and stuff like that and he's really cool and I love that bit where he lights his sword on fire which is just really cool so I would like him posed holding the flame sword which would just look really really cool and he'd be one I'd definitely pick up even if whether they did it as an exclusive a conventions exclusive that would be great but I just really really do want that as a Funko figure Right, coming in at number eight is Gendry. Now, Gendry is a character that appeared early on and then disappeared and then came back. And um, I really do like his character. I think he's very interesting. Obviously, he's one of the bastard sons of Robert Baratheon. And I really do like the fact that um, he's come back into the show now. And I definitely think he's a character worthy of a Funko Pop. If you remember back to the earlier seasons when he was in it, he had that sort of bull's head helmet he made himself because he was like a, uh, he like makes all the swords and all that sort of stuff. That's what his job is and um, he made that for himself a bull's, a bull's head helmet and it'd be really cool I, I know if, if you've seen the Punisher chase holding the daredevil um, helmet or the sort of um, Iron Man holding the Tony Stark holding the Iron Man helmet I think it'd be really cool if we could get Gendry sort of even if it's under his arm like hooked under his arm or holding it um, in his hand with his uh, ball helmet. I think that would look really cool. I know they wouldn't do that if they did a chase of that. Those are a big enough character for a chase, but it'd be really cool if we could get a Gendry pop. And that's my number eight pick. And by the way, guys, I'm representing my Night to Watch hoodie as I'm doing this uh, uh, doing this video. How appropriate. And major spoilers, by the way. If I mention spoilers for Game of Thrones, I do apologise. I'll throw a spoiler tag in the description below. If you haven't seen it, I apologise. I might edit in a bit me saying spoilers at the front so if you see me saying spoilers at the front that's edited in for your sort of benefit <laughs> if you haven't seen game first but if you aren't caught up what are you doing what are you playing at get yourself a night's watch hoodie big bucket of popcorn sit down and watch game of thrones trust me you won't regret it Coming in at number seven is Tommen. Now, Tommen was a massive character throughout the last couple of seasons of Game of Thrones. Obviously, he was the king. So, as Joffrey's brother, Cersei and Jaime's son, he was a huge character. Unfortunately, he sort of um, jumped to his death.
in the last season and um, that was uh, really a shame because he was a good character and um, I, yeah overall I really liked him and I think he's a big enough character especially if we've got a pop of Joffrey, of Cersei, of Tywin, all the Lannisters we definitely need a pop of Tommen and I hopefully that will come in the future if not what you're playing at we need that in our Game of Thrones collection. Coming in at number six is Rickon Stark. We have Arya Stark, we have Sansa Stark, we have Rob Stark, we have Jon Snow, we have all of them. We have Bran Stark, don't forget Bran. Where's Rickon? We need Rickon Stark. He wasn't a main character by any means of the word. He unfortunately bought it, he died unfortunately died in the last season or the season before. I can't really remember at the hands of Ramsay Bolton in that when he had to run and he shot that arrow and it sort of went through him. I do think we have all the other Stark children, and even Jon Snow, the bastard. We need a Rickon Stark. That's just my opinion. I think to finish out the Stark children, give us Rickon. They, they gave us a brand. It wasn't the best brand ever. Just chuck a Rickon in one of the next waves, and you'll make me a happy man. Right, coming in at number five, following what I just said about Rickon Stark, Catelyn Stark. Where is Catelyn Stark? We've got Ned Stark, we've got Bran Stark, we've got Rob Stark, we've got Sansa Stark, we've got Arya Stark. All the Starks, no Catelyn Stark. We need Moss, we need her to finish the Stark family off. That would just be great. Her and Rickon, and that's my um, reason she's my number five, just above Rickon, because she was obviously a bit more of an important character. I know Rob Stark's a very hard pop to get hold of, but even if they re-release him so we have a bit of a chance to finish our Stark families, we definitely need him. And um, I do have a Hodor pop, actually, which was a, a, a gem. I found that when I was on holiday in France um, two years ago, and I brought it, and I don't regret it because it's so hard to get now. And it goes for about £70, so I'm so glad I got that. I'm sidetracking, but anyway... Catelyn Stark is definitely my number five pick because I think she, she's an awesome character. Unfortunately, she perished at the famous Red Wedding. We all know what that is. And um, unfortunately, she's gone, but we could have her in memoriam in a pop form. And I would really, really like that. Coming in at number four is the man with the magic downstairs. I, <laughs> it is Podrick. Podrick is a cool character. He's been in it for such a long time. Squired for Tyrion, saved Tyrion's life enough times. As a good banter with Braun and Tyrion. And now he's with Brianna Tarth. And I just think that Podrick is a, a character we definitely need a Funko pop of. He's at all the conventions. It would be lovely to get It would be great to get him to sign one. I've seen him. I've met him once. He's a nice guy. And I would really, really like a pop of Podrick. He de definitely deserves it. I said to him when I saw him that time that he definitely deserves a Funko pop. And he agreed. And hopefully in the future he'll definitely get one. And we can display it either with Tyrion of Braun or with uh, Brienne of Tarth. Which would be great. So hopefully Podrick um, gets a pop and that he takes my number four spot. Coming in at number three, I know I'm going to say this wrong, but it's a Miss Sande. I really do like this character. Um, she is the, basically the right-hand woman of Daenerys Targaryen. She is sort of um, Grey Worm's lover, and um, even though that's sort of impossible, if you know about Grey Worm, obviously he's like an action man downstairs. So they're basically lovers, but aren't lovers in a way. But he's a she's a great character. She's been in it for, like I said, many years. Uh, Daenerys saved her from like being a slave, and now she is her right-hand woman and now she is a right hand woman and she's definitely a big enough character deserving of a Funko Pop that's why she's so high up on my list at number three also she um, is just an awesome character in herself and um, I reckon there's pretty much more there's pretty I reckon there's a lot more to come from her character arc hopefully in the next and final season but anyway she is high up on my list because I want to display her next to my Daenerys so she is number three on my list Coming in at number two is Vares. Now, Vares is a character which has been a big influence from the start. I mean, he has been in it for the whole time, and he's such a huge character. He's helped so many people. He's sort of hindered so many people in ways. He's he's a big manipulator and a big 
player in the Game of Thrones and I definitely think he deserves a pop. He's one of the main characters and he's a cool looking character. He wears his arms and his sleeves sort of crossed and um, I definitely reckon he's worthy of a Funko Pop. He's probably one of the biggest characters that doesn't have a Funko Pop. I mean we've got a Peter Baelish. We definitely need him. He is such a sort of, uh, he's very manipulative and sneaky character. He survived this long for a reason and I definitely think we need him in our um, display of Game of Thrones. Um, Funko Pops because he is a main character and when you think of Game of Thrones if you were to go through the top characters he would be on your list. So he that is why he's my number two. Not only is he one of my uh, favourite characters he is definitely one of the best characters not to have a Funko Pop. So let's make him. Let's get that happening. And coming in at number one, guys, I honestly can't believe we haven't got this so far. We've had loads of Game of Thrones pops. We've got so many different varieties, but not this one. This one is the one that surprised me the most, and it's not even in the works. This is my number one pick. Fionn Greyjoy. Now, Fionn Greyjoy is arguably, again, like I keep saying, one of the biggest characters in this show. He's had such a big arc. He's one of from the Iron Islands. He's one of the main characters. And even his sister is deserving of a Funko Pop. She just couldn't get on this list. But he is definitely deserving. After all he's been through with Ramsay and he saved Sansa and he was a member of the Stark household when he was younger and obviously now he's sort of going back to take over the Iron Islands to fight his um, to fight his cousin or his uncle or he's going back to fight his uncle to take over the Iron Islands. He really stepped up in the end of the last series and I definitely think like Alfie Allen is a great actor as well. Greyjoy has been a consistently good character. He's one of those characters you love to hate um, especially when he was doing all the stuff when he was killing those sort of uh, farm town boys and taking over Winterfell. He's a character, he's a very weaselly character, gets under your skin and that's great acting by Alfie Allen and I definitely think he's deserving of a Funko Pop and I definitely think he, he will get one because there's no way they can complete this Game of Thrones. When Game of Thrones is all said and done there's no way they're going to not have a Fionn Greyjoy pop and he is my number one pick because he's awesome and we definitely need him and um, Ramsay Bolton cut off his manhood so I feel sorry for the guy and he needs a Funko Pop for it so um, so guys let me know what you think of my top 10 list I really enjoyed putting this together and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these sort of videos hopefully weekly or um, fortnightly bringing you top 10s I did make a Harry Potter top 10 but they've just announced some new Harry Potter stuff so I've got to edit all my top 10 video which is a pain and change them up but you know but it is what it is and uh, I did have Davos Seaworth on this list but then a couple of weeks ago I did write this just a few weeks ago um, he was announced obviously as coming out and he is one of my favorite characters i'd say top five favorite characters davos i really do like him and i'm glad he's getting a funko pop and i'm glad i got to take him off this list before he even made it into the video because he's such a good character and deserving of a pop so like i said guys drop me a comment below let me know if there's any characters i've left out that you think should have pops for game of thrones let me know what you think of my list and what order you would have put it in and what characters you would definitely like to see made and um, don't forget to hit that like button and if you enjoyed this video guys I know I've rambled a bit but to be honest I love Game of Thrones I could talk about it all day and um, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed please make sure you do if you are subscribed hit that notification bell ring that bell and um, get notified when all my videos drop and uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below guys I would really appreciate that thanks for watching and I've been the Nerdy Collector and I'll see you next time bye bye